Welcome to an ongoing sewing report series to sew McCall's M6044 men's shirt pattern. In this episode, we're focusing on the sleeves for view B and we'll be setting them in flat. You'll find links to my favorite garment sewing supplies below. This is a two-piece sleeve, which means you don't have to do a placket. And here I am cutting out two mirrored pieces at a time with the fabric wrong sides together. Of course, I'm using my Home Depot washer pattern weights, a rotary cutter, and a cutting mat. One of the fabrics I'm working with is Robert Kaufman Dot Chambray that does fray and snag easily, so I did my pattern markings with a water-soluble pen. To be a little more productive, I'm actually making two shirts at once. The other fabric is a darker chambray, so you'll see me sewing both of these. Before setting the sleeve in, you do need to sew the two sleeve pieces. Pin the fabric right sides together, and these are magic pins I recently bought and like quite a bit. For whatever reason, I don't have this next part on camera, I'm sorry, but it's very simple. You just have to sew the sleeve pieces. But the portion that will be your faux placket that's marked on your pattern, I used a basting stitch because I need to open that up later. To finish those seams, here's what I did. Press open and fold the edges under to the stitching line. Instead of pinning, I secured the seam allowance with my go-to Elmer's washable school glue. Hit it with a dry iron and it'll stay secure until you sew that area. And the glue washes out and I've never had an issue with it gumming up my needle. Then edge stitch about a quarter inch from the seam on both sides. You'll want the stitches to catch that fold on the underside. and I stay stitched the armhole so it didn't get distorted. Another thing you can do to make setting in a sleeve easier is run a basting stitch along the area of the sleeve cap within the seam allowance. The gathers will naturally form the shape you need. Using lots of pins, match up the sleeve to the armhole at all the points marked on the pattern. When sewing these pieces together, go slow and keep checking the bottom fabric to make sure there aren't any puckers. And if there are, that's okay. Just seam rip those spots and then restitch them. Traditionally, many shirt makers will use a flat felt seam here, but I wanted an easier method, so I surged the raw seam edges. Again, go slow and be careful not to catch any excess fabric. Then I did sort of a mock flat felt seam by securing the surged edge down away from the sleeve, edge stitching again about a quarter inch from the seam. And that's it. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos on sewing a collared shirt. I'm Jennifer Moore and I'll see you next time again for the sewing report.